Hey there, Python trainer Ruven Lerner here. And today I want to talk to you about multi indexes on pandas data frames, how we can create them, how we can retrieve from them, and even how we can retrieve from particular subsets of them. So I'm going to start off here by loading up NumPy and pandas, and then series and data frame on pandas, which is what I typically do whenever I'm going to work with the system. And then I'm going to load one of my favorite data sets, which would be all of the data from all Olympic games from their beginning until just recently, I think until 20, anyway, pretty recently. And so if I look at this data frame here, df head, what have I loaded up? Well, we've got a whole bunch of different columns. This is every single athlete who has ever participated in every single Olympic game. So we have name, sex, age, height, weight, team, I guess NOC is N of uh, number of, or name of country, more or less, not everything's a country, games, year, season, city, sport, event, medal. Okay, and if they got a medal, then it's gold, silver, bronze. If not, then it's NAN. So far, so good. The thing is, I might want to retrieve information based on the year. Now, of course I could. Let's say I want to find all games from, let's call it uh, 2012. I see that's right up here. So how can I do that? I can say DF of year equals equals 2012. That's going to give me a Boolean series. And then I can say df.lock of this thing. And of course, whenever I use df.lock, the first part is my row selector. And here, my row selector is going to be a Boolean series. And then I can use a column selector if I want. I don't need one. So we can just like go without it for now. And I'll say here. And now I have, oops, well, it helps to actually have things matched up, right? There we go. And now I have all of the rows from 2012. Not too shabby. But if I'm going to be doing this a lot, then maybe I want to make the year into my index. And I can do that. I can say df.setIndex to be year. And what this means is take the year column and turn it into the index. Watch what happens. Now year, and it retains its name. It looks a little weird, but it's there. Year is now the index. Now, have I really changed df? Have I really changed my data frame? No, I have not because set index returns a new data frame. It does not modify the existing one. But I could, of course, say df equals df set index of year. And now, if I look at it, well, it's going to be the same as we just saw. Now my queries against the year are going to be much easier. I can just say df.lock of 1992. And look at that, because 1992 will match a whole bunch of the years, the, let's say the indexes, and we'll just retrieve those rows. So I'm going to get exactly the same results as I would have before. It's just much easier to do that. Well, wait a second. The Olympic Games are not just by year. They're also by season, right? We have the Summer Games and the Winter Games. Sometimes they even occurred in the same year. I know, sounds kind of crazy. I'm not that into the Olympics, so I can't explain everything to you. I can't explain more things to you, but I'll try to explain the pandas part to you. So what if I want to now change my index? Let's set the index to be both the year and the season. And then if I want to retrieve things, well, that'll be pretty great. So the first thing I'm going to do is reset the index to its default and make year a regular column. So I'm going to say here df.resetIndex, and that's going to return a new data frame. So I'm going to say df equals that. And now if we do a df head, now we're going to see we're back to where we were before. Actually, it's ever so slightly different because now the year column is at the beginning. Who cares? Not a big deal. And now the second thing I'm going to do is set the index to be both the year and the season columns. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to say df equals df set index to be, and now I'm not going to use a string to describe the column. Rather, I'm going to use a list of strings. I'm going to say here, year, comma, comma season. And if we look now, what are we going to see? This is a multi-index and such a common and powerful tool in pandas. Now I have the year and the season in my index. Well, now what can I do? Well, I can search based on both elements of the multi-index. I can say here df.lock of, and I'm going to say here in a tuple, 1992 summer. And I get this funny warning message, performance warning, indexing past Lexor depth may impact performance. What the heck? Well, what it's really complaining about here is that we have not sorted the index, that it's all jumbled. And if we sort it, then we're going to get rid of that. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, as you might know, I can say df equals df.sort index. And what this means is sort index returns a new data frame based on df in which the index is, you're going to be really shocked by this, sorted. So if I look now at df head, it's going to be from the earliest year. 
1896, summer. Why do the summer games come before the winter games? Quite frankly, it's because S comes before W. So it's sorting the outer index, which is going to be the year. So that's going to be numeric because it's a an integer column, or was an integer column, that's an integer index. And then season is going to be sorted by strings. So if somehow, well, anyway, summer then winter, that's just the way it is. So now I can say df.lock of, and I'm going to search for, well, let's do it once again, 19, what did I say before? 1992 comma summer. And look at that. Now we have all of the rows from 1992 summer games. That is fantastic. Again, could I have done this by searching with equals equals on year and equals equals on the season and then applying the Boolean series? Absolutely, I could. This just makes it so much easier, especially if we're going to be doing a lot of queries of this sort. Okay, could I go even further? Right? Let's make our index um, have year, season, and sport. So now I'm going to say df equals df reset index, and I'm going to say df equals df set index, and now I'm going to have a list of three. I'm going to say year, and then we're going to say season, and then we're going to say sport, and I'm going to say here df equals df uh, sort index. And now if we do all of this, we're going to see the head, and we're going to see 1896, summer, and the sport is athletics. All right, I don't exactly know what athletics is, but that probably, probably shows me how little I know, or shows you how little I know about sports. Anyway, back to pandas. Let's say now I want to retrieve, so I can retrieve by year, right? So I can say df.lock of 1992, and then we get all the rows from 1992. And notice, by the way, when we retrieve in this way, it chops off that part, all the rows of 1992, so it's going to chop off the year, and we're going to start with season. I can retrieve by year and season. I can say df.lock, and here I'm going to use a tuple of 1992 comma summer. And we get all that. And notice now it's chopped off those two parts and we're left just with the sport part. And then I can say, you know, retrieve by three parts of the multi-index. And I can say df.lock of, and let's say here a tuple, 992, summer, and we'll say here archery. And now we have, and now it's going to show me all of them. Why is it sometimes showing, sometimes not? I don't know. I'm not in charge. Regardless, we now see all of the rows for archery in the summer of 1992. Okay. You can then see that by having a multi-index, we can choose by the most general part of it, and we can get more specific as we add more parts. But this raises an interesting question. What if I want to find the uh, all of the archers, you know, all the people who participated in archery, across all years and seasons. Ooh, now this is getting a little more complicated, right? Because I know how I can go from a general to a more specific index. But if I'm basically saying, right, basically any year, any season, but just archery. And this is where a really, really powerful uh, um, uh, accessor in uh, pandas comes in handy. We use df.xs. xs lets me say, I want to find some particular cross-section, I think that's what it stands for, cross-section of my data frame. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I could just put it all in. I can say here, xs of 1992, summer, and it's not what I wanted, right? Archery. And if I do this, it pulls it out. 992, summer archery, and that works just fine. I can also give ranges here if I want. So I can say here, and you can't use a regular range, right? You can't say here like from zero till 3000. That's not going to work. That's invalid syntax. But I can say range, not range, sorry, uh, slice from zero to 3000. Oh, it doesn't like that very much either. Okay, fine, fine. Oh, expect a label. Fine, 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 fine. What I really wanted to show you, never mind that. What I really wanted to show you is actually if I just want to find the archery. So how am I going to do that? If I just say df.xs of archery, it's going to say, I don't have that. That doesn't work. That's a key error. What I have to do instead is say level equals sport. And what this means is wild card for year, wild card for season, archery has to be sport. And look at that. Now we have all years, all seasons for archery. That's pretty great. What if I want to find now, let's find, let's find the average height of people in archery over all years of the Olympics. 
That sounds like a useful piece of information, I'm sure to someone at least. So I can say df.xs of archery level equals sport, and then I pull out height. That's going to pull out just the height column from those rows. And now I can say dot mean, and we get the mean height for all those archers. If I want, of course, I can pull out more than one. I can pull out height and weight. Oops, sorry, I have to do a list of lists there. My mistake. Two, 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 two. And now we get both height and weight. We get the mean height and mean weight for all archers for all years. But wait a second. What if I want to specify more than one thing with excess? For example, I want 1992 all seasons archery. Hmm, well, this is getting a little tougher, right? Because I'm going to say df.xs. I'm going to say here 1992. I'm going to put in a tuple 1992 and archery. So I have 99 to an archery, but how am I going to indicate this should be the year and that should be the sport? Oh, very simple. I just say here level equals year and sport. And XS will kind of figure it out. Look at that. Now we have year 1992, sport being archery, all those rows. And now, once again, I can pull out height and weight. We get just those columns, and then I can run dot mean, and I can get the mean of those. Anyway, multi-indexes are really useful, really interesting, and once you sort of understand how to retrieve information from them, whether it's via dot lock or via dot XS, boy, boy, oh boy, your data analysis tool, uh, your data analysis becomes much, much, much easier. I hope this was useful and interesting. Please let me know if there are other topics you want me to address here on this channel. You can always reach me via email, or you can reach me on Twitter, and you should subscribe to my free weekly newsletter called Better Developers, where I talk about Python and software development and all sorts of other fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. See you again soon.